In this segment of the e-learning tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure the gradebook. Typically, before you start creating assignment activities in your course, it is best to configure the gradebook. Obviously, you want to do this early in the course before you start developing it. So to configure the gradebook, we need to be on the, the main course page. So we click here on grades, click on the drop down under grader report. And here are all the options related to the gradebook setup. Now, further down in the setup area, we click here on gradebook setup. Typically, the gradebook configuration derives from your syllabus. So in your syllabus, you'd have something like this where you have, for example, readings, videos, and quick quizzes are 5% of the course grade. Then you have forums are 15% of the course grade. Then the unit projects, 20% of the course grade. So we need to enter these percentages as separate categories in the e-learning. So we switch back here to our e-learning page, and we are currently in gradebook setup. And then on the right hand side, this is where we want to add the category. Click on add category, reading and quick quizzes. Then under the aggregation, most of the time you want to select simple weighted mean of grades, not the default here weighted mean of grades, but the one that says simple weighted mean of grades. Then you leave everything else alone for now. Then add the next category, add add category, and then in our case, forums. Again, simple weighted mean of grades, press save. Then we add the next category, unit papers, simple, again, important. A lot of faculty forget this, it needs to be simple weighted mean of grades, unless within a category you have assignments of a different weight, where you have assignment one counts for 10% assignment two counts for 20% of that particular category. Then we press save. So we added three categories so far. Then let's say here we have a final project. Even though that is one single item, we still enter it as a separate category and then press simple weighted mean of grades and then press save. And then let's say we have a category called final exam. Let's say we have a midterm and a final, and but therefore they are exams in, uh, in the exam category. Click on simple weighted. If the midterm, let's say it's 30% of the exams category and the other one is 70%, then you leave it as weighted mean of grades. In most cases, you simply use simple weighted mean of grades and then press save. So we currently have added all the categories. Now we need to add the weights for each category. So if we look in our syllabus from earlier, the weight here was 5% for the readings and quizzes, then 15% for the forums, and then 20% for the projects. So we go here to readings and we erase what's in there and we just put 5% for the first one because that's what it was, 5%. Forums were 15, unit papers were 20. So, so far we have 40%, five plus 15 plus 20. Let's say final project is 30% and then exams are gonna be another 30. Now the total for these categories should come to 100%. Then we press save changes. So, so far we are simply configuring to the categories that we have in the course based off the syllabus and then when we create the assignments within the assignment configuration, we'll specify which category is it associated with. So for example, when we create a forum in a little bit, we'll specify that that forum activity is part of the forums category for the course. Or when we create a quiz or a reading report, we'll specify that that particular reading report is associated with the readings and quick quizzes. So once we have entered those percentages, then we click on save changes, and then we are set with a main setup for the gradebook. Then we go back here to the course and then create the specific graded activities. And I'll demonstrate that in the next segment. Basically go to the assignment details and then go to the grade area and select the appropriate category, just like in the image above.